Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Fluent Coders. So today we are going to learn how to switch between multiple Java versions. That is from version 1 to version 2 in Windows PC. So let's start. So it can be like you are using Java 11 as of now. You want to use Java 17 right now. And later on you want to switch to Java 11. But you don't want to uninstall and install again and again. So to make this process easy, we can follow these steps and we'll be easily would be easily able to switch between Java version. So things we are going to do in this video would be like this, like we'll be downloading and installing multiple Java versions. In this video, we are doing from for Java 11 and Java 17. You can pick any other version as you want. The process would be the same. Then we would be creating Java home variable. Then we will check right which Java version is active as of now in this PC and then we will switch and then we will check again. If you have already downloaded and installed Java versions, you can skip the next one or two minutes of video and uh, from step two onwards, you can carry on. So let's search with Java 11. The first link that pops up, that is Oracle link. That would be the one where you can download your Java or JDK, I would say. Uh, we are having Windows PC, so we'll go with Windows 64 installer. You can click on the download. Okay, you can take this, click on download. So nowadays what happens is Oracle don't let you download anything without logging in. So login, if you don't have registered it, if you, if you don't have account in uh, Oracle, you can create account with your personal details and then you can come here, enter the details and download the Java. Password would be this. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, downloading is start. Meanwhile, uh, we can start the download for Java 17 as well. Process would be the same. Google it Java 17. Click on the Oracle link. Java 17 Oracle uh, archive downloads. Go to the Windows one. Windows 64 installer. I go with generally go with 64 installer comp, uh, compressed archive. We don't require it as of now. It would have the extra documentations. So MSI installer also you can go with if, if you want. So I generally go with the installers only and I generally download the latest version that is 17.0.10. If you want any other particular version, you can download that as well. Let's click here. Okay. So you can see multiple downloads are going on. It would take some seconds. So Java 11 is downloading is done. Let's install it. Let's click on yes. Next. So you can see the path is C program file Java GDK 11. So by default, the path would be C program file Java. I would recommend don't change this path, but if it is required, you can change. But generally the path is this and I would recommend don't change it. Let's click on next and let me close it. So Java is done. Java 11 installation is done. Let's see where it is. Let's go to the this PC. C program files uh, Java. Here you can see Java 11 is there. Uh, you can press window plus R key and type CMD and press enter and you can pass a command java hyphen version you can see java 11 is coming up okay now let's go to the chrome go to the downloads install this java 17. let's click on yes wait a little click on next uh, so again you can see it is same path c program file java and then java version that is jdk 17. Click on next. So it is done. So let's see. So you can see Java 17 is also there. Let me close this command prompt. Open it again. Window plus R then CMD and then it comes. Type Java hyphen version. So Java 17 is coming up. Let me type another Java C hyphen version. So what happened is the latest one I installed 
that is active as of now but we didn't had any control which java version would be active right we didn't sit that we have multiple java version this one should be active we didn't ask our pc to do the, do so so for that you need to open the environment variables go to the search and search environment something like this would come edit the system environment variables open it click on environment variables here you can create a new environment variable new system variable you can say i'll create i would name it java underscore home everything is capitalized there is one underscore in between remember this naming convention later on we would be using it in the path and value we need to pass so either you can use browse directory or you can directly paste the value value would be the path so suppose java 11 we want to use so this would be the path c program file java jdk 11 or whatsoever path you have set let me paste it press ok now java home is there now we need to make this active that we need to make our system use this java home variable the one we created how we will do it there is a path variable you can click on edit so by default this comes up c program files common files oracle java java path i would recommend delete this i would recommend one more if it is there something like that if anything related to java comes up i would recommend it to you can uh, remove it in the path and you should have only one path related to java that would be that we will be creating like you can click on new you can pass percent java underscore home percent backslash bin so this percent java underscore home is the same variable we created outside i will press somewhere i will press ok i will press ok I will press ok now we will again open the you can say command prompt we will i will press window plus r key type cmd press ok now i will pass a command java hyphen version now you can see java 11 is coming up previously java 17 was coming up you can again pass another command java c hyphen version java c stands for java compile time both should be same so java and java c comes up java 11 now suppose i want to make it 17 now now right switching now you have set everything your home path is set now you need to just switch from one part to another one java version to another again go to environment variables mm, uh, go to this java home click on edit we can also browse so it is like where it is it is this pc c program files uh, it would be java and jdk 17 we want to make it actor i will press ok press ok press ok that's it you have to do to change the version now i will close this command prompt open another command prompt window plus r key cmd and i will now pass the command java hyphen version now as you can see java 17 is active now you can pass another command java c hyphen version java 17 is coming up that's it you need to do to switch from one java version to another i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more programming tutorials thank you for watching